Okay, guys, so I'm starting off with the dark and lovely fade resistant dye, and I got the color Honey Blonde. Inside the box, it comes with the cream developer, a conditioner, the hair color, and of course, in the instructions, you have the gloves. So the first thing you have to do is mix the hair color with the cream developer, and you're basically gonna shake that all up until it's all blended. Now to apply it to my hair, I section my hair into four pieces and then within those four sections, I grabbed random pieces and just put the dye on my ends and worked it through with my fingers. I wanted a sort of ombre color, but I mean, I'm not a professional hairstylist, so this was the best way for me to do it. And I feel like it turned out okay, especially for this being the first time that I actually dye my hair by myself. Now to set the dye, I'm just gonna cover it in some aluminum foil and that's just to make the color process faster. And I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that throughout all four sections. Now the instructions set to leave it on for 30 minutes. So I'm setting my timer for 30 minutes and yeah. Okay guys, so let me tell you about the horror story that happened with this hair dye. I'm just kidding, it wasn't a horror story, but it didn't go as planned. So I kept the dye in for the 30 minutes that the box told me to, everything was fine. I checked my hair after the 30 minutes and my hair literally had zero color in it. Like it was still my natural hair color basically. So I was like, okay, let me try it again. I'll do it for another 30 minutes. And this time I decided to sit under the dryer. I sat under the dryer for another 30 minutes. So I checked my hair again and it still was barely any color. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to keep this stuff on my hair all day. Like I don't want my hair to get damaged. I don't know what to do. Well, what I decided to do was keep the dye in for another 30 minutes. And this time I was just like, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna let it do its own thing. So I'm like, okay. After an hour and a half, I know that this, my hair is gonna be like the color I want it to be, y'all. I checked my hair again and it was just starting to get color. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck? Like this box said 30 minutes. I've had it on for an hour and a half already and like my hair is just now starting to get color in it. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try it one more time and whatever color it is after this, that's just what it's gonna have to be. So I did it for another 30 minutes and I got back under the dryer and I finally got the color that's in my hair right now. So if you guys are doing this at home, this stuff took a year and a half to take to my hair and I still did not get the color that I wanted. But I mean, it's okay, like it's not a horrible color. If you guys wanna see how I styled my hair after I did all of that, check out the video that I will be posting right here and I'll also put it in the description bar. So make sure you guys check out that video if you wanna see the final product of my hair. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.